Let's talk about something we all overlook but is absolutely crucial in our daily grind. Taking breaks. Picture this. You're knee deep in a project, deadlines breathing down your neck and you're pushing yourself to the limit. But here's the thing, working non-stop without giving yourself a breather, it's a recipe for burnout and decreased productivity and trust me, I've been there. Think about those moments when you've been glued to your screen for hours. Your eyes ache, your mind's a jumble and those brilliant ideas you had, now they're getting lost in a fog of exhaustion. Sounds familiar? Yeah, we've all been there, right? But you know, what really helps is stepping away. Like seriously, it's not just a luxury, it's a necessity. Or how about when stress and frustrations are swirling around you like a tornado, your mind's racing a mile a minute. But clarity? Well, it's as elusive as a needle in a haystack. Those are the moments when pushing harder isn't the answer. It's about giving yourself a timeout. Even if it's just for a few minutes, you gotta try it out. Now, taking a break doesn't mean shirking responsibilities. No way, I mean, I'm not recommending that at all. It's about recognizing that your mind and body have limits. Stepping outside, feeling the sun on your face, breathing in fresh air. It's like hitting the reset button of your brain. All right, now let's dive a bit deeper into the magic that happens when we take those much needed breaks. You see, our brains are incredible machines, constantly buzzing with electrical activities. And these brain waves, they're like the rhythm of mental orchestra dictating how we think, feel and perform. Now, when we are deep in the trenches of work, tackling those tough projects, our brains are in overdrive. We are riding the waves of gamma and beta brain waves, which are like the high energy tracks on a mental playlist. They're like, they're great for focus and concentration, but they also come with a price, stress, tension, and mental fatigue. But here's where the magic happens when we hit the pause and take a break. As we step away from our desks and our brain switches gears, we move into the slower and more relaxed rhythms of alpha and theta brain waves. It's like shifting a fast-paced techno beat into a soothing melody. And let me tell you, this shift is game-changing. Alpha brain waves are associated with a state of wakeful relaxation. It's that feeling that you get when you're chilling on a lazy Sunday afternoon your mind wandering freely, and in that state, our brains are primed for creative thinking and problem solving. Ideas flow more freely, and we are better able to connect the dots and think outside the box. But wait, it gets even better. Theta brain waves, the slowest of them all. They take us even deeper in the realm of creativity and intuition. It's like tapping into your subconscious mind where innovative ideas and insights lurk beneath the surface. Let me ask you, have you ever had a breakthrough moment while you were taking a shower or going for a walk? Now that, that is exactly theta at work, my friends. And here's the kicker. These slower brainwave states aren't just good for creativity. They are also vital for our overall well-being. When we are in alpha and theta, our bodies go into relaxation mode. Stress hormones like cortisol, now they take a back seat. While feel-good neurotransmitters like dopamine and endorphin, they take the center stage. It's like giving your nervous system a much needed spa day. <laughs> it's fascinating. So the next time you're feeling overwhelmed or you're stuck in a creative rut, remember the power of your brain waves. Give yourself the permission to take that break to step away from the hustle and the buzzle. Trust me, your brain will thank you for it. And who knows, you might just stumble upon the solution you've been searching for, all thanks to the magic of Alpha and Theta. This is Rahul Kapoor and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Remember, in the rhythm of work and rest lies the secret to staying on top of your game. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is to take a break.